first year of the 21st century, the UN Millennium Summit was held. At the summit, the world made pledges to cooperate by 2015 in achieving Millennium Development Goals set up to solve eight major issues ranging from poverty, hunger, education, gender equality, infants, children, women, diseases to environment. Through the World Changer Campaign, Funk, a cyber diplomatic envoy, wishes to realize the dream of seeing children and teenagers of the new millennia grow into future leaders who make the goals and values of MDG a reality. The Arctic, January 2010. A shocking scene of polar bears hunting their own kind for food was witnessed. Unable to hibernate or get any food in the warm Arctic, polar bears have turned into monsters, killing not only humans, but also their own kind. They are drifting on the slices of ice and struggling for survival at the very front line of global warming. The Antarctic, July 2008. A satellite picture from European Space Agency captured an image of Wilkins' ice shelf breaking away. The shelf is huge in size of 16,000 square kilometers, seven times larger than Manhattan. Global warming, which has been warned by scientists, is real. In March of the same year, 80% of baby Adelie penguins lost their lives to deadly rain in the Antarctic. With green shoots starting to sprout and raindrops falling on the ground, the Antarctic gets warmer, becoming a land of death. This human-induced global warming is human responsibility. Desertification is taking place fast worldwide, engulfing forests and lakes, and the subsequent water shortage causes a great deal of pain to many. Korea and Japan suffer from yellow dust caused by desertification in China and Mongolia, whereas violent windstorms like hurricanes and cyclones and induced floods devastate the lives of many in the U.S. and Southeast Asia. In contrast to melting ice caps in the Alps and Mount Kilimanjaro, in the early 2010, snowstorms caused by unusual weather paralyzed the eastern coast of the U.S. The Pacific Island nation of Tuvalu announced that the islands may need to be evacuated in the event of rising sea levels which renamed the people of Tuvalu climate refugees. Each year, the number of deaths from natural disasters outnumbers that of war dead by five times. The pace of temperature rise in the East Sea that lies between Korea and Japan is twice faster than the world average. It becomes rare to see pollock and sardines, which were main fish stocks of the East Sea. World Meteorological Organization and United Nations Environment Program pointed carbon dioxide as a main culprit of global warming. The amount of carbon dioxide emissions is increasing due to the use of oil and coal, exhaust fumes from automobiles, excessive energy consumption, and wasteful use of natural resources. The world is trying hard to find countermeasures against global warming after realizing, though belatedly, the severity of its consequences. The Korean government is taking an aggressive approach to alternative energy development and eco-friendly projects and reducing carbon dioxide emissions 
through the same day of the week no driving system and energy saving efforts. Also, the government has designated April 5th as tree planting day since 1949. Korea's tree planting day movement is spreading around the globe in an effort to curb global warming. For humans to coexist with polar bears, the daily penguins, and precious fish in the East Sea, now is the time for all of us to become world changers, taking the lead in curbing climate change and global warming.